Hello, my name is Chu. And today I'm giving away my blank default giant model um, so that you can download it and make your own giant. And this thing's really delicate and it took me a while to figure this out. So uh, let me make a giant um, in this video and I'll show you some of the problems that you can have. So I was gonna make a robot Press S to shape. Let's see here. Let's make a skinny robot. All right. Now I've already fixed the pivot points and everything on this model. So all you got to do is make it. All right. Now I'm going to make a um, control D make his face. Now, since this is so detailed, and this is the lowest, or this is the lowest or highest resolution, you can't go higher than this for this to work in 116 and 115. So let me show you uh, how I do the face. I make facial features. Let's see, robot face here, robot face. That's the shape. All right. Now let's paint them. You know, there's next. Hmm. I guess that should be all right. There we go. There we go. All right, let's paint. Let's get a silver paint bucket. Paint the whole thing. That's the base color. I'll do his eyes. Paint bucket. There we go. See how that's instead of doing all the detail, which you can do and take a lot of time, but you can make facial features and we'll cut the time. Okay, so let's get like a lighter gray body I'll fix that here in a second <clears throat> lighter gray all right so go to edit click on his legs bring those down here legs down there that's the uv mapping let's see the arms yeah let's bring these down here other arms same thing in the corner nice and tight and go back to painting side of his arms which I gotta go back to UV paint you see so go back here move one of his arms next to the other one I can have this problem no all right go back to paint bucket color Now uh, let's do the same thing with the legs. If you do those, yeah, next to it. There we go. Bucket. Mm. I guess that's good for this tutorial. All right. Uh, I don't like it. Paint, bucket, 
paint pick or color picker. There we go. There we go. Let's just do that. All right. Go to file. Project. Give it a name. Copy that. Paste. Uh, make sure this is on uh, the 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 one you want here. Firm. Say project as. Paste. Save as on the on the uh, texture. Paste. All right, now let's give this a go in M Creator. But first, I want to go through the Java file. So after you um, export the Java entity, save. It should look like this. It should look like this. So you're gonna delete the first. This is this is the one. This is the robot Java. Uh, the one I just made. I exported it, right? Delete the top three lines. Now, here's another one I made that didn't work. So I deleted the top three lines, but if you see here, there's an error in here. This is the error. Now you see how this is all head, head, hip, body, left arm, right arm, left leg, right leg. See, there's an error here. So if you get this, it's not even going to work. Don't even try it. You're going to have to go back to the drawing board and redo it so let's try m crater all right so we're here in m crater and you want to click the resources tab 3d models and textures mapping click that click import java 3d model okay go to your folder All right. Like head in, head in, head in, head animation. <laughs> head animation, head movement. Duh. Uh left arm just f do all these left arm swing, right arm swing, left leg, so on. Double check this too. Head, arms, legs. There we go. All right, now let's import the texture. So click on texture, import textures. Um, right there. All right, now let's click on a uh, living entity. All right, give it a name. Put in your model that you just made, the texture in, and I'm gonna show you how to make this thing interesting. Let's click save. All right, now let's make a ranged item. Call it a wand, whatever. All right, uh, go to texture. Create texture. Mm, you're brown. Oh, there's the wand. Save it. As item. Save as item. Wand. Text. All right. Save that. Go back here. Wait. What's that? Did I not save it? Let's try this again. Save this texture. 
as item wand t save this texture there it is oh i couldn't see it i did it did work i just couldn't see it it wasn't showing up okay so now uh let's uh finish this um bullet we need to make another texture so create texture let's make a bullet uh, i want to make a, a interesting one here let's see if i can find one so you click on generate uh from template start randomizing Not too bad. I like that. There we go. All right. Let's save this texture. This uh, item. Bullet. All right. Now click on bullet. In your wand that you're just, you're making. Click here. Uh, custom elements. Oops, I gotta make the bullet. All right, let's make the bullet. So you gotta make um, an item. Make an item. Bullet. There it is. All right, click save. I get a wand, your wand you're working on. There it is. Bullet. Does the bullet ignite fire? This will make it a fireball and that, that texture won't even matter. Has Bullet has particles, yes. All right, and here's where you can mess with the power. Right there. So just click to save. I go to the giant. And here's the important stuff. So his bounding box is 1.8. I make that like a seven or eight. Let's just make it an eight. And that will make the bullet that he's shooting come like out of his head or, or not really out of his body or lower. And the reason you do this is because if you put a weapon in his hand, you're not gonna see it, it's gonna be so small. And you could you could model a big weapon uh, in his hand and that might be cool, but uh, this is just the way I'm doing it. So um, let's see here. Make that eight. Um, and go to AI and goals. Click on the wand right here. Click this checkbox. Click save. We're almost there. Okay. Now let's test this. Just a quick reminder. You go into AI goals after you set the wand up and uh, go to AI templates, m mob aggressive towards player, click that, and then you got an easy setup to uh, attack the player. All right, now let's test this. All right, let's give this robot a test. There you go. It's pretty good, actually. Could be a little better, you know, if I worked on it a little longer. It's a robot. Let's see what it does to, uh, let's see, let's see how the wand works. Oh, it works great. change the sounds and uh, you want to change the sounds walking sounds living sounds 
uh, the sound of the bow shooting. Go, go on YouTube, find a free um, a sound of like a missile launching or something, a magic missile. Um, see if I can find him again. So I'm gonna have this uh, model for free in the download description below. Oh, there he is. And this thing's real delicate, so you can't put a lot of stuff on him, or I'm pretty sure it won't work. You gotta kind of uh, figure that out. But it looks it looks pretty cool, actually. Nope. Nope. Oh. And there you go. All right. Uh, I hope you guys make some cool robots. Uh, yeah, because uh, I've made like four or five, and only two have worked. So, as, like I said, it's really delicate. Um, but if you look in the description below, you'll see the download. All right, guys, have a good day.